Chaos Mod is a GTA 5 plugin that lets your viewers activate any of these 350 plus effects when your TikTok live viewers send things such as gifts, follows, subs or likes. As a quick example, you can spawn explosive zombies when your viewers follow and those will appear on screen within a few seconds. There they are, you can see them in the background. But as I said, there's over 350 different effects and you can of course do it for gifts. So let's get this all set up. Starting with some pretty simple requirements. You need a Windows PC. You need to buy GTA 5 and I'll put a Steam link for that in the description if you don't have it. But you can use other launchers like Rockstars and Epic Games. You need to install the Tickfinity desktop app and we'll come back to that later. But again, that's in the description. You should consider uninstalling other GTA 5 plugins as they might clash with this. And I missed one there, you need to complete the story mode tutorial inside GTA 5. So we're going to start by finding where GTA 5 is installed. And you can easily do this on Steam by right clicking Grand Theft Auto, clicking on properties, heading to installed files and clicking on browse. And it'll pull up something like this showing where it's installed. If you're not using Steam, you can search your entire PC for this file, gta5.exe. Or maybe your installer has something similar, I'm not sure. So why did we open that? That's to install Script Hook V and Chaos Mod V. So I'll link both of these in the description. Let's start by downloading Script Hook and it's this download button here. I'm getting an insecure warning personally. It's definitely secure. It's actually open source so you can check it. So I'll press keep and I'm going to find it in my downloads folder. I'm using WinRAR so I'll just extract it to the folder. You don't need WinRAR but I'll put it in the description. You can just use the Windows extractor itself. Anyway, I'm going to extract it into its own folder. So here it is. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the Grand Theft Auto folder location and this script hook folder side by side. And as you can see, I've double clicked into bin. I'm just going to highlight them all, press Ctrl X, and I'm going to click anywhere on the left side and press Ctrl V. And as you can see, it's added these to my root GTA 5 folder. And again, to confirm it's the root, it's got GTA 5.exe in it. So we're now going to follow a similar process, but for Chaos Mod. So make sure you've got the latest version. For me, that's 2.13. So I'll press the download button on that. Then I'll press download again. Same scenario here. I'm going to extract it into its own folder. I'm going to put them side by side once again with my GTA 5 folder. This time, chaosmod.asi is going to go into the GTA 5 folder. So I'll press Ctrl X. I'll press Ctrl V. It's added it in. And then this whole Chaos Mod folder, I'm just going to drag it over and it's now going to go inside the GTA 5 folder. And I'm now going to full screen this and double click into Chaos Mod folder. And Chaos Mod V config, you saw that at the very start of the video. This is where you configure all of the effects. Before we double click it, you might want to right click and either create a shortcut or pin it to your taskbar or pin it to start. I'll create a shortcut and then I'll make sure I can see my desktop and I'll just drag the shortcut onto my desktop. So now I can double click my desktop shortcut and it's loaded up Chaos Mod V config. You can use this with GTA open, but it's much easier to configure it first. So let's run through all the config. Just before that, I have a free email newsletter that I send out every single week. If you want the latest live streaming and content news and tips and tricks on how to monetize and grow your live streams, then check that out. Once again, it's free and it's in the description. So let's configure Chaos Mod V now and there's a few important changes. We'll come back to effects, but first let's click on meta and I'm gonna uncheck the meta box. You could theoretically leave that on anyway. I'll save as I go and more importantly on the misc page, we want to change this new effect timer to zero. What this will do is it will mean only your TikTok live viewers can trigger anything in your game. If you leave that on, it's going to start triggering random effects throughout your gameplay. If you do want that to happen, then just leave it on. I'm also going to check don't draw timer bar and you can optionally choose to enable these keyboard shortcuts. That's up to you. Anyway, I'm going to save again and press OK. And actually, I've missed two more important things, which is this 90 and 30 seconds here. Some effects last shorter than other effects because they're basically more harsh. I'm going to set the normal effect length to 30 seconds and the more harsh ones to 15 seconds. You might just have to play around with that depending on how many gifts, follows, subs, etc. you get while you're live. So I've set that now. Once again, we're going to save as we go. And now we're going to click back onto the effects page. So even though everything's checked, if I click on the drop down, you can see literally everything is checked. None of this is going to trigger unless we set up Tickfinity and a keybind. I showed you at the start explosive zombies and those were set to spawn whenever somebody followed. 
So let's set that one up and let's do one for when people send a rose and it's going to make your character repeatedly jump. So anyway, starting with the zombie, first of all, we're going to search for the effect or you can just look through the drop down list and find it. But I already know what it is. So I'm just going to type zombie into the search bar. Then they're going to click these three dots here and we're going to configure a keyboard shortcut. Now I like control alt and then a letter. So it makes sense to go control alt Z for this one. You pick whatever keyboard shortcut you want and then press save. Also, crucially, save again. Now let's configure this into Tickfinity. So again, the Tickfinity desktop app is in the description. And if you haven't yet, click on the setup page and crucially add your username. Then click TikTok login and click login with TikTok. Now let's head to the actions and events page. So now that we're on the actions and events page, let's set up our action for the explosive zombie follow. So click on create new action. You can see I've partially made mine already. Let's start with the most important thing, which is simulating keystrokes. Of course, I've given it a name first, which is explosive zombie follow. Scroll down a little bit and check simulate keystrokes and click on select keystroke. If you've used control and alt like me, make sure you check those boxes and just type the letter Z, Z into the box. Key hold duration, 100. It could be even less. This is milliseconds. And crucially, we want enable game compatibility mode checked. This does require installing auto it. So let's go back to a past version of Harry who's going to show you what to do. So to make Tickfinity compatible with more video games, you just have to check this box. You'll be prompted to install this plugin. You'll be sent to the download website where you'll download the zip. Once you've got the zip, just right click extract all or I'm just going to extract it into its own folder. Then all you have to do is double click the exe file. Then we'll just quickly run through the installer. Just accept all of the defaults. It doesn't take long to install. I'm going to uncheck the release notes and press finish. Thanks to the past version of Harry, that should be all set up and installed now. So let's save on the keystroke config, but let's enhance this by putting some text on the screen when they follow as well. So I'm going to click show alert user plus text, and this is going to by default show their profile picture and their username and then some text. So in my example here, I've put Harry followed and spawned explosive zombies. You can, of course, use some of these other options as well. You might want text to speech to read out loud what's happening. I'll just leave it on that for the follow and let's scroll down and the display duration is the text that shows on the screen. So I'm just going to increase this to about three seconds. These other default options are fine for a follow alert. I'm going to click on this link. If you have this error, we're going to add this to Live Studio. First, let's just save the action. And now let's head into Live Studio or OBS or Streamlabs. If you're in OBS or Streamlabs, you need to add it as a browser source. If you're in Live Studio like me, add source, find the link option, and then just control V to paste it into the box. You can have a custom resolution if you want and press add source. Now if you click on the link on the left, we can move it around. And this is where the username, the profile picture, and the text that we just chose will show on the screen saying Harry followed and spawned an explosive zombie. And we will test this later, by the way. But let's head back to Tickfinity and now for the event. So click on create new event. And for this one, you are triggering the event with a follow. Of course, everyone can trigger it. And underneath trigger all of these actions, you select the explosive zombie follow or whatever you set up. And then you just press save. We're not randomizing anything. You could use that if you want. Just set up multiple keybinds inside Chaos Mod V here, set up multiple actions, and then you could set up this randomized section. But most people don't do that. Let's just save the event. And then it's just a process of repeating over and over for different actions and different events. So you can see the second one I've done is jumping multiple times when you get a rose. So you start in Chaos Mod config on the effects page. So again, you can check it from any of these lists. You can find it from any of these lists. In my example, I'll just type jump and it was this jump, jump, jump one. Of course, we start by clicking the three dots. We need to set a key bind. So I'll click into the key bind area. We'll go control alt J for this one. And again, we need to press save twice. So I'll press it there. I'll press it there and I'll press OK. And then head to your Tickfinity actions and events page. And this is the action I've made for the rose jump. So simulate keystroke control alt J with this box checked again, 100 milliseconds. And once again, let's put some text on the screen. So let's say Bob is sending me roses. In this example here, it's Bob sent brackets gift name. So this will say rose and forced Harry to jump. You can copy and paste the brackets gift name here. And of course, you could trigger any of these other Tickfinity effects as well if you wish. You might want text to speech on gifts, for example. And then scroll down the display duration. Once again, this is the text that shows on the screen. So because this is a gift, I'll set it to six seconds, a little bit longer. 
and it might be fun to repeat it with gift combos so since we are going to repeat it i might actually lower it to four seconds so repeat with gift combos for example it would trigger it twice if you get two roses it's not very optimal for this plugin by the way because it just restarts the timer it doesn't add on to the timer so as you saw earlier and i'll just show you so we configure this timer for 15 or 30 seconds so two roses is not going to send it to 60 seconds it's probably more going to be like 31 seconds anyway let's make sure we are saving this action and then create a new event for whatever else you want in my example i'm sending a specific gift the gift is a rose and of course i've selected it from the list and we'll press save on that one and again just keep repeating just keep adding different keyboard shortcuts on anything that you want the viewers to trigger and then just keep setting up tickfinity and once you're done here's the fun part let's start up gta i've always had the chaos mod v config open first maybe you can open it second i'm not sure but anyway if you like me just open up the config first just to be safe you can open up tickfinity whenever you want and then of course let's just launch gta as well so just quickly in the settings I know for me that it works with windowed borderless so if you are having issues try these settings here and then make sure you load into story mode as I said earlier you need the tutorial completed. You'll know that everything is successfully set up if you see this text on the screen it appears for a few seconds and then it disappears so that proves chaos mod itself is set up but of course we need to test tickfinity as well so let me just head outside and we'll test the zombie spawn one. Now on Tickfinity, people often use the event simulator. You can't unfortunately use it in this occasion, but you can just press the play icon and it's gonna give you five seconds before triggering the keybind. And that's only during testing in real life. When you're actually live, it will trigger the keybind straight away. This just actually gives us time to open it. So I'm gonna press play on the explosive zombie follow. The five second timer has started. And if I just keep yapping for a few seconds, you can see the zombies have now spawned and they're coming towards me. So let's just quickly test the jump rose one as well. Again, I'll just press the play icon next to it and we'll give it five seconds and my character should start jumping. And as you can see, and if you look on the right, by the way, there's a little timer bar going down. And again, we set this to 30 seconds or 15 seconds. Clearly this one is the extreme one. So it's set on 15 seconds or more accurately, it's called the short timed effect duration. So like I said, when you're live, just make sure you launch Chaos Mod first. You can launch Tickfinity whenever you want and then just launch GTA maybe last. If you want to test this is working inside Live Studio, again, you can just play one of them and you just head into Live Studio. You can see this is triggered. It's showing me that I maybe need to increase the browser source size. And if you like TikTok Live plugins, you might be interested in my list of Minecraft plugins for TikTok Live. 